Hello everybody. Our topic for today is what to look for when hiring your first person for your group practice. So if you are thinking about hiring somebody, what an exciting time. Congratulations. It is prime time right now for group practices to be starting because the need for mental health is so high and I'm finding so many solo practitioners are full and they're wondering what's next. So what's next is hiring your first person. I am personally a fan of hiring people I know. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean I know them personally. I may know them professionally, or I may know them like a friend of a friend. But when you're hiring your first person, and it is totally okay, you don't have all the kinks sorted out, right? You don't know, uh, you know, all the things yet. You haven't figured it all out. So you're going to need somebody who is patient with you. Somebody who understands that you are brand new, that you are building, that you might have something very, you know, fleshed out in a couple of years, but right now this is new and you want somebody that you can trust, right? This is going to be the first time somebody else is going to have access to, you know, your, just your things, right? Or they may have access to phone calls that come in. They might have, they're going to have access to money, credit cards. And, you know, you think about it, you, you would, you think, you know, masters or, or doctoral level clinicians are all trustworthy, but you do need systems in place in order to manage money you need that's in all businesses. You want to make sure that you can trust that person. And so, even if you don't have somebody to hire that you know, make sure that they come highly recommended, that you do your due diligence in talking to people who know them or they're or following up on their references. Because this is somebody who you're going to really, you're always going to remember the first person you hired. I always remembered the first, I had three people that joined me in the very beginning. I will never forget that. They are so special to me because they joined me. They believed in me. I didn't even have anything. I was like, I think I'm going to go rent an office. Do you want to come? And they're like, uh, yeah. And so one of them has a th like thriving group practice and the other two have amazing solo practices now. They, two of them have moved away and it's been so amazing to watch their growth. And I just, I am so grateful for them. I'm going to tag them in this video because they really helped me to get where I'm at, to flesh out all of those things, to know that like, you know, I didn't have it all figured out. I like literally rented an office and I'm like, okay, we're just going to figure out how to do this. And there were a lot of things that you may need to sort through and, you know, bumps that you're going to come into. So having people that can really be there with you, be present with that experience and be a part of that process is going to be really important. Another way to look at hiring somebody is you can do one of two things. You can hire somebody who does something very similar to what you do. So then the referrals that you're getting in that you can no longer see, you can pass along to that therapist, or you can work with somebody who complements what you do. So for instance, if I you know, had a child therapy practice, I might look at hiring somebody who works with adults who can work with the, the parents or you know, a lot of times parents start referring, oh, my friend or this person or that person to the practice and you only see children. So now you have somebody who can see the adults that are being called in. So there's really two ways to look at that. There's really a couple ways to look at it, but those are the two primary ways. Like somebody who can take on your overflow or somebody who can supplement or complement what you do in your practice. Then you want to figure out the logistics, right? How are you going to pay them? How are you going to get referrals? What systems are you going to have in place? Have you spoken to your accountant? Have you spoken to a, an employment attorney? Are you going to have an employer? Are you going to have a contractor? These are all things that you do want to sort out prior to hiring somebody, right? Because you don't want to figure those things out as you go. You really want to have a solid contract in place. You want to have some of your systems in place. You might have to sort through the, the word for this video is sort through. You might have to figure out how to do all of that, but you want to have those systems in place. So make sure that you either, either have joined a mastermind that helps you figure out group practices, you've worked one-on-one -on -one with a coach, or you've done some kind of research. I, most people that I know have done coaching 
for group practices. Even I did a lot of coaching. I've done masterminds. I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching a couple of times with a couple of different people to get different perspectives because every time you go to start, scale, grow, you know, maximize a group practice, there's questions and you need people who have done this before to guide you. So that's just a piece of advice about hiring help a consultant, a private practice coach, in order to help you sort through all of those systems. I wanna thank one of our sponsors who helps me with my systems, which is Therapy Notes. They are wonderful for group practices. So if you are looking for an electronic health record that can really help your group practice thrive, grow, scale, I want you to check out Therapy Notes. They have a free telehealth option. You can have this electronic health record, virtual or in person, whether you take insurance, your private pay, they have a portal. You can send your clients all of the paperwork. You can take credit cards straight from there. And then you could run so many reports to help you understand where your group practice is. So I highly recommend therapy notes. So hiring is such an important, fun part of growing a group practice. And so I hope that when you are hiring people, you are looking for people who fit in with the culture of your practice or the culture that you want to have in your practice, that you are hiring people who compliment you as a leader. I definitely don't hire everybody who has my same personality. We have a variety of personalities and that is very helpful. I really look for people who are going to fit into our business, fit into our practice in a way that is unique for them. So hiring can be a really exciting time. And if you need support, I'm here helping you build your group practice. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye.